वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश फोर्टी एट सो स्टेटमेंट इज द बीम इज मेड फ्रॉम थ्री पोलिस्ट्रीन स्ट्रिप्स दैट आर ग्लूड टुगेदर एज शोन इफ ग्लू हैज अ शेयर स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ एटी किलो पासकल डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम लोड पी दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड विदाउट काजिंग द ग्लू टू लूज इट्स बॉन्ड सो यू कैन सी दिस इज बीम ए बी क्लियर दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाई थ्री कंसनट्रेटेड लोड वन इज वन ओवर फोर पी the mid on uh, in mid it is p and here it is 1 over 4 p and this beam is made of three polystyrene strips that are glued together at this point so you have to find the value of p without causing the glue to lose its bond so let's start with the solution so as we know that uh, we have given allowable shear stress for the glue so we know that allowable shear stress is equal to v into q divided by i into t clear so we will need the shear force the q the i and t as well clear so first we will find q how you will find q so if you remove this support at a so you will be having a reaction force which is r a and if you remove this support at b so you will be having a reaction force which is r b so we will find this r a and r b by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point a one moment is due to this p and perpendicular distance is 0.8 and that is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write is 1 over 4 times p multiply by 0.8 that is negative the second moment that is produced by this force is p and now perpendicular distance is 1.8 and this is also producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus p times 1.8 the third moment that is produced due to this 1 over 4 p and now the distance is 2.8 meter and that is clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus 1 over 4 times p multiplied by 2.8 now the last force which is producing moment is r b into perpendicular distance is this 3. 6 meter and that is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive so i will write plus 3.6 times rb is equal to 0 so this value will give you minus 0.2p minus 1.8p minus 0.7p plus 3.6 rb is equal to 0 and the sum of these negative signs will give you minus 2.7 p plus 3.6 rb is equal to 0 so we will get rb is equal to 2.7 divided by 3.6 times p which is equal to 0.75 p so rb is equal to 0.75 p now we will find ra as well by using this equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is positive so ra is positive so ra minus 1 over 4 p which is equal to minus 0.25 p the minus this p minus 0. 25p plus rb which is 0.75p is equal to 0 so you will get ra is this term is minus 1.5p plus 0.75p is equal to 0 and you will get ra is also equal to 0.75 times p now you have ra and rb so you will move toward drawing shear force and bending moment diagram so i am going to draw it for that you have to take the vertical lines from the end of the beam and then a horizontal line in order to show the length in meter x will be in meter so we have shear force let each division is of 0.5 
clear so it will be 1 it will be minus 0 0.5 minus 1 p times p 0 0.5 p 1 p etc now if you look at point a so you will be having r a which is 0 0.75 so 0 0.75 will be this one and if you locate the various length clear so you will get it like this so now moving from point a till point p there is no other force so it will remain same so shear force will remain same horizontal line now at this point you can see you have minus 0 0.25 p so 0 0.75 minus 0 0.25 will bring it to 0 0.5 p okay so shear force will change from 0 0.75 to 0 0.5 p this is 0 0.75 now this is 0 0.5 now moving from point this till mid of the beam there is no other shear force so it will remain horizontal and at here you can see at the mid you have minus p so 0 0.5 p minus p will be equal to is minus 0 0.5 p so shear force will change from minus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 to minus 0 0.5 times p okay now moving from this mid till this point you will having same horizontal shear force but at this point you have minus 0 0.25 so minus 0 0.5 p minus 0 0.25 p will be equal to minus 0 0.75 p so shear force will change from minus 0 0.5 till 0 0.75 so mid is 0 0.75 p and then it will be remain same and at the end you have rb which is plus 0 0.75 p which will bring it to zero so this is your shear force diagram so from this shear force diagram you have maximum value of absolute value of shear stress is 0 0.75 p clear so we have this value we will find uh, i i for for this cross section so if we find i for this so this is the cross section so you can see if we take the half of this so it will be its neutral axis clear so the moment of inertia of this beam will be let this is first member and this are second member this is first these are second and they are symmetrically about this horizontal axis so we'll find 1 over 12 this breadth is 0 20 millimeter which is 0 0.02 and this height is 60 millimeter which is 0 0.06 whole cube plus the moment of inertia of these two portion since these two portions are away from this neutral axis so we will find the moment of inertia of both of this by using parallel axis theorem and its d will be equal to distance from neutral axis till mid of this section so i will write by using parallel axis theorem it will be two times one over 12 breadth is three, 30 millimeter and height is 40 so 0 0.03 into height is 0 0.04 whole cube plus area which is 0 0.03 into 0 0.04 multiply by d square so d square is distance from neutral axis till mid of this section so this is your d and this d is equal to 20 this half is 20 and this half is 30 so d is equal to 50 millimeter so in meter it will be 0. 0 0.05 square ad square so when you solve this you will get moment of inertia i will be equal to 6.86 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter power 4 so this is your i now we'll find q as well so what we will do is we will need this q and q is 
distance this is new or neutral axis and this is the portion where there is a glue so this will be the shaded area for the glue and what will be y dash so y dash will be this distance distance from neutral axis till mid of this section so q is equal to a into y dash so area is 30 into 40 millimeters so 30 0 0.03 and 40 0 0.04 multiply by y dash which is 0 0.05 meter so this is your q value now what about uh, t so t you can see thickness of this member is 20 millimeter so t is 20 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.02 meter now you have all the values so by using this equation ta allowable is equal to v into q divided by i into t there so from here allowable sharing stress is given as 80 kilopascal so 80 into 10 to power 3 is equal to v v is 0 0.75 from shear force diagram I have written over here 0 0.75 0 0.75 P and Q is uh, 0 0.03 into 0 0.04 into 0 0.05 5 divide by I I is 6.86 into 10 to the power minus 6 and thickness is 0 0.02 meter so if we rearrange so you will be get you will get p is equal to 80 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 6.86 into 10 to the power minus 6 multiplied by 0 0.02 divide by 0 0.75 multiply by 0 0.03 multiply by 0 0.04 multiply by 0 0.05 again when you solve this by using calculator you will get p will be equal to 238 newton so this is the amount of load p that can be applied on this beam so that glue should not lose its bond and that was all about problem 7-48 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video again if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also give me feedback about my videos whether you are getting it or not thank you